everyone welcome back in today's video we are going to discuss the topic neuroglial cells if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon let's begin neuroglia or the glia is the supporting cell of the nervous system the neuroglial cells are non-excitable and do not transmit nerve impulse neuroglia plays an important role in the reaction of nerve during infection and when compared to neurons the number of glial cells is 10 to 15 times greater in number neuroglial cells constitute the site of tumor in nervous system classification the neuroglial cells are distributed in central nervous system as well as peripheral nervous system accordingly called central neuroglial cells and peripheral neuroglial cells central neuroglial cells are astrocytes microglia and oligodendrocytes whereas peripheral neuroglial cells are schwann cells and satellite cells you can go through the images given of the types of neuroglia astrocytes astrocytes are the star shaped cells present in all the parts of the brain two types of astrocytes are found in human brain the fibrous astrocytes and the protoplasmic astrocytes fibrous astrocytes the fibrous astrocytes occupy mainly the white matter the processes of these cells cover the nerve cells and synapses. This type of cells play an important role in the formation of blood-brain barrier. Protoplasmic astrocytes. Here we can see the image of how it looks. Protoplasmic astrocytes are present mainly in grey matter. The processes of the neuroglia run between the nerve cell bodies. Functions of astrocytes Twists around the nerve cells and form the supporting network in brain and spinal cord. Form the blood-brain barrier and thereby regulate the entry of substances from the blood into the brain tissues. They maintain the chemical environment of extracellular fluid around the central nervous system. Provide calcium, potassium and regulate neurotransmitter level in synapses and regulate recycling of transmo, trans, neurotransmitter. Microglia. You can see the image. Microglia are smaller in size and are derived from monocytes and enter the tissue of nervous system from blood. These phagocytic cells migrate to the site of infection or injury and are often called the macrophages of CNS. Functions They engulf and destroy the microorganisms and cellular debris by the means of phagocytosis and they migrate to the injured or the infected area of CNS and act as miniature macrophages. Oligodendrocytes, you can see the image. Oligodendrocytes are the cells forming myelin sheath around the nerve fibers in CNS. These are short and have fewer processes. Functions. These provide myelination around the nerve fibers in CNS where Schwann cells are absent. They provide a support to CNS neurons by forming a semi-stiff connective tissue between the neurons. Peripheral neuroglial cells. Schwann cells are the major glial cells in the peripheral nervous system. Functions. They provide myelination around the nerve fibers in PNS, play an important role in nerve regeneration and remove cellular debris during regeneration by their phagocytic activity. Satellite cells. Satellite cells are the glial cells present on the exterior surface of the PNS neurons. These provide physical support to the PNS neurons and help in regulation of chemical environment of extracellular fluid around the PNS neurons. Here you can have a look at all the different types of glial cells we were talking about. The astrocytes, the microglia, the oligodendrocytes, the Schwann cells and the ependymal cells. If you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section and I would love to answer those. Thank you for watching the end of the video.